Matilda. Welcome to today's video. I cannot remember the last time I filmed one of these. I'm pretty sure it was when I was back at uni. So quite a bit has changed in my life since I was at uni because I no longer go to uni. It is 35 minutes past seven. Today I have work because I'm a working gal now. I have work in person actually. So I don't normally work in person. In fact, I work from home every day of the week. <laughs> Where I work, we don't actually have an office. We all work from home, which is fantastic. I need to leave home at quarter past eight to be there on time. And then I should be home like around 11. Oh my gosh, I can't get my bracelet on. Also, I'm stoked. I curled my hair yesterday, which you would have seen in the previous vlog. I haven't brushed it, obviously, because it would have like gone frizzy if I brushed it. But I'm so stoked with how it looks, like second day. I need to go and have some breakfast. Before I do, I should probably explain what I do for a job because I feel like the lines kind of get blurred a little bit. So obviously, me talking to you right now, I make YouTube videos. Yes, that is something that I do. I also take Instagram photos and post TikToks. Awesome. Great. But I also have a job, a nine to five, because contrary to popular belief, I would be living on the streets if I was relying on this for my income. <laughs> I work for a social media agency, which I think is where the lines kind of get blurred a little bit. My role there is account executive, so it's kind of like a junior account manager, and by account, not accounting, it's like account as in like client. I basically come up with marketing strategies, which is why I studied marketing at uni well not why i studied marketing at uni but it like links up with that i need to go have some breakfast which i meal prep because if you've been following along my little gym journey we are doing an eight week challenge at the gym at the moment and i'm trying to build some muscle i am on my meal prepping and for breakfast today i have get this strawberry cheesecake overnight oats to my office. Whoa. I need to pack my bag to go to work for the morning. Obviously need my laptop to do my work. Pens into my bag. My drink bottle in here. Laptop charger in the bag. And uh, will I bring you guys with me? That's actually a serious question. I won't be able to vlog when I'm there. So I mean, I'll bring the camera, but I probably won't talk to you guys until I'm like on my way back home. My brother used my car like a few weeks ago and now every time I jump in it automatically because I when I jump in I just plug my phone in and listen to my music through Ox. He was jamming to freaking George FM so every time I hop in my car it's like aggressively starts blasting DMB which is so not my vibe. <laughs> But I haven't made any effort to change it because I don't listen to the radio anyway. I have just finished my morning little stint of work so I'm going to go home now and finish the work day at home. It's 11 o'clock right now but on the way I'm going to go visit my nana. Let's try and visit her as much as I can. Yesterday I went in to visit her and she didn't know who I was so it's praying, literally praying that she knows who I am today. 104, my timer is set for my lunch break. Now I'm going to go and have my lunch, I'm having, you guys won't be able to hear me when I'm talking downstairs because I've had this ambience of, I'm assuming it's NASCAR racing all morning because my office is like above the lounge. So I'm gonna go and watch NASCAR and eat my lunch. Um, but it's a halloumi quinoa salad thing that I meal prepped yesterday. So oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> And she is going back into the office. Good afternoon of work. I have a lot of mahi to get through this afternoon, but conveniently, my lunch break fell with the end of the NASCAR race, and Shane Van Gisbergen took the dub on his debut at NASCAR, which is just insane. I've been staring at a computer screen for like three hours straight, so we're just gonna have a little break. And normally, my afternoon break, I'll just jam some guitar just to like clear my mind, get myself in a positive mindset. So let's jam together. I just filmed like a little bit of a video as well, which I might post a TikTok if I feel so inclined, but I also might not, so you may never see that. Mood lighting is on, it is 5.30, I've just finished work, and a package arrived for me today which I got out of the letterbox when I got home from work, but I have been holding off all day to open it. They had their like mid-year Black Friday sale or whatever. Anyway, they had 40% off. I have been eyeing up these jeans for a while because I already have them, but I bought them in a size 10 because the size 8 was sold out. I have my eye on them and I was like, oh, when I see them on sale, I'll buy them in a size 8. And then obviously when the sale came on, I was like, well, now is my opportunity. And I'm hoping 
that these will fit me like a glove because the other ones fit me really well after they're washed but then like you know if her jeans stretch in between washes once they stretch they don't fit me that well they're called the the name's really dumb it's called like duh boyfriend jeans and washed blue denim okay i was contemplating sizing down to a size six because of how big the size 10s fit me once they've like stretched out i am so glad that i didn't because i only just got these zipped up so this is them it's really hard to show on camera so they fit literally like perfectly on my waist right now these are standing jeans after a few wears then they'll become sitting jeans if you know what i mean they are the perfect jean and i am so stoked about it and this is probably a better look oh, they just fit so nice i'm obsessed me acting like i don't already own the exact same pair i had dinner kind of looked like cat food it was a tuna fajita and i've never really had tuna before not out of a can anyway the smell was absolutely horrific but once i cooked it it was fine um but then i ate it and i was still hungry so then i had <laughs> like a, a leftover pita bread with some soup that mum and dad were having for dinner and now i'm eating a little protein bliss ball thing for dessert which is delicious I have to edit the video for next week because i have a pretty busy week this week so i'm gonna try and edit the full video tonight so that's ready to go for next week and obviously I'm filming this one right now, which will be the one after that. So it's all go. It's also, you may be able to hear the wind. It is so windy outside right now. It's 20 to 7 now. I think I'll edit till 8. And then I'll set myself some personal boundaries, cut it off there, get ready for bed, and then read a bit more of my book. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Oh, boy. I really need to invest in a new tripod. Eh? I went to the gym this morning. I'm now home from the gym. I've had a shower. Hair washing day. Fantastic. Now I'm going to make myself this... Chokini smoothie, which sounds so delightful. I'm gonna have half a zucchini. It's meant to have half an avocado, but I accidentally put my avocado in the fridge, and so it's, it's still green. So that's hard as a rock. So we won't be using that today. Some oats, dates, chia seeds, cocoa powder, protein powder, milk, which I forgot to put in the fridge. So we're off to a roaring start today. Yeah, I managed to find half an avocado, so that's great. But I don't know if you can see like how thick this is, um, and it's not cold because my milk wasn't in the fridge <laughs> it's not the nicest thing to taste to put it that way 8 35 i'm at my desk it's time to do some mahi for the day it's a big day today i'm doing all of the clients monthly like proper monthly reports today and i am ducking out for an appointment to get my eyebrows and eyelashes done at 3 30 till 4 30 and then coming back and then working extra time to make up for my appointment hello hello it is 3 30 and i'm about to get on my merry way to my eyebrow appointment i don't really need one to be honest i did contemplate cancelling it but i was like honestly at this point just to sit there in silence for like half an hour sounds like a great idea so that's what we're gonna go do here's the before and after and my work day is not done so i need to go and do actually i don't need glasses for that so i need to go finish my work day and then i'll have some dinner and then i'm heading out tonight so i'll fill you guys in on that very shortly right i have finished work and i'm just cooking my cat food for dinner i think it's canned tuna so it's like this that makes me really miss having hello fresh so i think once this eight week challenge is up I think I will be going back to HelloFresh because it's just so good. And this is just, like, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm just grateful to have food on the plate at this point. I am off tonight to a e-group with my friend Kate. We used to play netball together back in high school. We used to do umpiring together back in high school. Long story short, I'm going along to her e-group tonight with some church gals just to try and meet some new people. It's tonight at 7.30. Tomorrow night I'm also out, but we will get to that tomorrow night. Gonna keep sauteing my cat food. Half a jacket is on. I'm gonna head off to Kate's now. I've got my little tote bag with my Bible and my church notes book and my pens and I don't really know what I need so that's just what I'm gonna take with me. I'm not gonna bring you guys with me because I'm about to meet people for the first time and I don't want them to know that this is a thing. Not that I'm embarrassed about it. It's not really a conversation starter, you know? We'll just leave you guys here and um no, I'll see you guys soon. She's home. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to bed. I'll fill you guys in tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. This morning, I went to the gym and it was a cardio session. So it was already like intense. It was a hit session. And then the coaches just decided to spice it up a little bit. So 
thanks Katie and Sage, where when you were resting, you weren't resting, you were playing Rob the Nest against like your opponents, like the other people at the other stations. And it got so competitive. Kate and I, my partner, we came third, so love that for us. This is my outfit of the day. Got my Uggs on because we're from home vibes. Archer Pants from Princess Polly. This is my new jumper that I got from North Beach last weekend. It's a Roxy one. Um, and then underneath, I just have or oh, belly button, absolutely not. I have a sphere of belly buttons, no. This top, which I'm kind of dressed up today for the work from home. And that is because I'm only working today until 12.30 and then I've got annual leave for the afternoon to head into the city to go to a YouTube event, which is crazy. I was thinking this morning, I've been making YouTube videos now for over five years, which is insane. That's like a quarter of my life, but I'm so excited to like, like I don't know, I mean, I'm mean, being honest with you guys, I don't really know any other New Zealand YouTubers. So I'm, I'm fully, aware that I'm going to turn up and I'm not going to know anybody um, and I'm like I'm an introvert okay I know it may not seem like it but I'm an introvert so this is going to be a real test of my ability to make small talk which I can't wait for and then after that so I don't have to fight the five o'clock traffic coming home because the event's from two till five I am going to go and have dinner with Morgan at Freeman and Gray's in Ponsonby they do six dollar pizzas so that was the the reason why but anyway last night e-group so much fun gals are amazing so good so nice to just meet other like-minded people she's off she also has a book in hand because i feel like the event is going to finish earlier than i'm anticipating it's from like 2 to 3 30 but from 3 30 to 5 is networking the introvert in me is kind of thinking that that's going to be my cue to leave. I bought the book I'm currently reading and who knows, maybe I'll finish it. But I have a dinner booking with Morgan at 5.30. So we originally it was 6.30 and I was like, hey bro, should we just switch it to 5.30? And she's like, yeah, we should. So we did. Who knows, I might not have time to kill, but I know that I need to get in the car and get moving. So yeah, it's 12.30 now. So I have like an hour and 25 minutes to get there, get a car park, walk there, deal with Auckland traffic. You know the drill. So... Will I see you guys there? Stay tuned to find out because I might, the introvert in me might just sit in the corner and not talk to anyone, so. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> just like I said guys, I keep my promises. I did not vlog <laughs> at the event. It was kind of awkward because they were like sharing information with us where they're like, don't take photos of this. And I was like, you know what, just be on the safe side, I'm not gonna take photos of anything. Apart from I did take a few selfies, so I'll put those in for you guys to enjoy right now, but it was amazing. When I got there, First of all, I had no idea where to go. I knew I had to park like in the Jellicoe Street car park, so that was fine. Parked, and I was like, oh, is this like you pay in advance or do you pay afterwards? Couldn't figure it out. Downloaded the app, paid as I went. It was fine. I did my card and get towed. That's all well, all is well and all is good. So then I had to go find the actual building. No signage. So it was just this random building and I just followed the crowd of like four people that <laughs> walked in ahead of me, hopped in the lift went to the sixth floor because that's where it said google was and i was like okay trust the process went in and got my name tag so i got to wear this which was quite cute yeah went in met campbell from bornbury talent which is like my talent he's like my talent manager haven't met him before but had heaps of comms like over email and stuff so that was really cool and then we just kind of hung together because i was the only one from born bread who was there and then anyway I watched the thing it was amazing they talked about the algorithm and YouTube as a platform and where it's heading and what to do and there were some things they said that I agreed with and some things that I disagreed with so that's fine we'll take it with a grain of salt then they had a guest speaker from an agency which was cool and they also had a guest speaker oh that was so close to hitting my car and they had this guy called Bryce who runs the or runs has his YouTube channel is living big in a tiny home or tiny house something along those lines anyway he goes and like films tiny houses which is so cool um, he's got, like 4 million subscribers and he's a Kiwi so that's amazing and then oh and then afterwards we got like a little tour of the offices amazing the way that they've like integrated like New Zealand culture into the offices is just like next level and then we got to go into the Google cafe so this is like where their staff just like have a bite to eat they had sushi they had pizza they had a few having drinks they had drinks and then Campbell and I were just like kind of hanging and then I got to meet Joni no idea if she watched my videos you guys probably know Joni you've probably seen her face on TikTok before and we worked on a campaign together like two or three years ago and have never actually met in person so that was really cool and a whole heap of them were there from the intention seeker which is the agency she works for so I got to meet some of them and it was really cool had a really good chat with some of them and then realized it was five o'clock and I was like okay I need to leave so it's 20 past five I'm currently parked on Ponsonby Road I'm waiting for Morgan to come and we're gonna go into Freeman and Gray and get six dollar pizzas for dinner my tummy is rumbling but I also left with this which is so cool um this is like a little 
coffee mug thing, but I feel like turning up anywhere, anywhere with this would just be such a flex. Yeah. Yes, I have stage fright because I was like, it's so dark. I'm, I need to have my eyesight sucks and I have glasses yeah. on. I'm like, is that Morgan? What, the one and walking past? Or me? No, you. And then you turn around and I was like, frick, it's not Morgan, it's some... Oh my god. <laughs> so we just ate dinner and it was so good and I'm going to put photos in because we didn't vlog inside. And now I'm going home so it's Morgan to our separate houses because we don't live together anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about Disgusting. it. Disgusting. So we spent the whole like, what, oh. hour and a bit talking business. <laughs> like fully, she said something and I was like, oh! I'll take that email down. Yeah. I hated it. <laughs> Morena guys, happy Thursday. I'm hustling and bustling this morning because I need to be at my boss's house in 20 minutes to drive into the city to meet with a client. Hello guys. It has been a big day. It has been a nine hour work day. It is 5.30 now and I have finished work. Great. It is time to cook some dinner. Mum's going to be home from work at like actually probably in like half an hour so then we'll kind of want to get out of the kitchen before she gets home what am i having for dinner it's really good question i need to find my recipe it's currently balanced on top of the coffee pots also i kind of was thinking today like do i want to actually start drinking coffee maybe i kind of want to give it a try because i'm sick of like going places and like every social event you either get offered a coffee or you get offered a like glass of some sort of alcoholic beverage like i'm never gonna say yes to the alcoholic beverage but a coffee like i feel like i could get behind that i don't know if my guts could get behind it but i personally probably could maybe i didn't print the recipe no nope, i did not print the recipe right i need to go and do that right this is my meal planning thing beef fried rice yup let's do that print beautiful brown rice mince oil ginger garlic shallots which i don't have so we're not gonna do that mushroom zucchini soy sauce what am i doing with my fingers i'm not even counting i'm just like <laughs> finished product will be in my hands in three two one yeah morning guys it's friday we made it i would love to say that i'm sitting here sipping out of my new youtube flask but it it's been like half an hour and it's still too hot to drink because the flask is holding in the heat so well. Last night, I finished my book, Confess, Colleen Hoover. Amazing. So stoked. I've just got work today and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to do some mahi, so I'll see you guys later on. I'm going to show my vlog your purchases from today. This is the first yep. one. $15. Yeah. What's this one? This one was $24, I think. It matches. Yeah. Oh. oh, be able to turn the heat pump off now. <laughs> awesome. What about the rest of us? And what's your other purchase? Bought this. A tablet? For, so for my ebook reading. That you use the free library books. That's free why library you, books. That's why you bought libraries. a tablet, not a Kindle, because you want the free books. You Libby, know? free books. Beautiful. Well, I could have got a red and black one, but that's Canterbury Colours, and that made me feel sick. I'm just going to awkwardly sit you guys like all the way over there. But um, it's five o'clock. I've just finished work. My evening. I'm hoping is going to consist of finishing editing Monday's YouTube video, eating dinner, which I have meal prepped, so that's great. I don't, don't actually have to cook anything tonight, which is nice. And then I'm going to sit down and watch some Emily in Paris. And if you watch my previous vlog, you'll be stoked for me. Oh, it is really, really cold today. It was six degrees this morning, which is like, if you're from like the South Island, you're going to be like, Emma, that's a balmy summer's day. What are you complaining about? I know, but for us Aucklanders, living in our single glazed houses, it's a bit chilly, but it's okay. I have hoodies, probably need to invest in some thermals, but that's okay. One of my favorite things though, I must say, in the morning when I get up to go to the gym, also. When I go to bed, I've been wearing my hoodie and reading in bed, then taking my hoodie off, leaving it on the floor beside my bed, and going to sleep. So when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is put my hoodie back on again. I have a little bag of uh, dresses here, which are from Rachel, because she had Grace's hens do last weekend. And she's like, Emma, I need to wear pink and I have no pink dresses. And so I sent her some options. My mum's been working in Hamilton this week, so she dropped them back to my mum at work. And then mum bought them home for me. So I need to hang them back up in my wardrobe. Also, I just need to say, I am really missing my wardrobe from my house in Hamilton. And by my house, I don't own it. <laughs> it's not my house. I just, I just claim it as my own. All right, there we go. Anyway. I'm gonna do a little bit of YouTube editing and then wait for it to be an appropriate time to eat dinner and then I'll do that and then I'm gonna settle down and watch some Emily in Paris and have an early night. I'm still trying to decide. I'm not gonna vlog the weekend for you guys because I've literally been vlogging for a week straight and I feel like I need 
to shift my content priorities to Instagram because that has been neglected. I'm tossing up whether to go to the gym at six or quarter past seven tomorrow. Let me lay out the pros and the cons. If I go at six, it means I don't get as much of a sleep in. So I will have to go to bed earlier to get enough sleep. But it means that I get, we're training in partners tomorrow, so it means I get to train with my gym partner, Kate. Or do I go at quarter past seven, give myself a bit of a sleep in, but then train with someone who potentially I don't know. That's the dilemma that I'm going through right now. I'm just rambling at this point because I haven't had much social interaction today. But I started following Anton De Pasquale on Instagram today, the supercar's driver. Then I go onto Instagram this afternoon and see that he's liked my story. <laughs> He didn't follow me, he just liked my story, which is so random. But he probably, to be honest, went into my Instagram and saw that I'm friends with Liam Lawson and Matthew Payne and was like, oh, who's this? Anyway, it's kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna go edit my video now. All right, it is dinner time and I'm just gonna make the news just so I can talk. I managed to finish editing my video. Just heated up my dinner in the microwave. <laughs> it looks so unappetizing but you know what food's food and it's actually got a lot of goodness in here but the rice to veggie ratio i've never seen such a green fried rice before in my life I tell myself it's really tasty than it will be and this is week five of the eight week challenge there's three more weeks left of eating microwave fruit fruit microwaved food that's a really hard thing to say microwaved food g'day folks it is 9 p.m and i am off to bed i have decided that i'm gonna smash out the 6 a.m gym class tomorrow I just kind of came to the consensus that I, I have a little bit to do tomorrow and I just always feel more like myself when I wake up early so we're just gonna roll with that. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. It has been such a fun week. If you made this far in the video, firstly, thank you so much for watching. Secondly, comment a random emoji that you've never used before. Let's get some random emojis happening in the comment section. Thirdly, would love if you would subscribe. Join this beautiful community of people really grasping at straws here but seriously guys thanks to you guys i'm able to go and do stuff like that youtube event i went to this week which was just unreal still can't even wrap my head around that but anyway i'm gonna sign this off i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs>